Welcome back to Abila TV. When police respond to a distress call, they often have no idea what they're walking into. And that's why it's important for people with disabilities, especially those whose disabilities are not readily apparent, to interact with the police in understandable and calm ways. Let's find out about the Be Safe program that helps people with disabilities and the police learn about each other on today's Tools of the Trade. Tonight, uh, we are fortunate enough to have an interactive screening of a program called Be Safe. Be Safe is uh, an interactive program uh, from California, and basically it's designed to help folks, um, citizens who are suffering from intellectual disabilities or developmental disabilities, understand how to interact with law enforcement um, in their daily lives. We're showing scenes from Be Safe the movie which teaches essential safety skills like follow the law to be safe, do what the police tell you to do. And after we watch each episode, the audience is practicing these skills with the officers who are here. Basically they see a part of, of an interactive movie. So they will get, as I like to call it, a vignette that focuses on a very specific uh, set of learning objectives. It may be identifying what a police officer is. They then will have a demonstration. So I will stand up with another officer and we will go over what we have on our duty belt, what we have on our, on our uniform. And one of the big takeaways is this is a police officer, this is his or her tools. The only person who can touch those tools is the police officer. They were trying to explain to like um, um, st stuff that they have though, like the guns, the, um, they have what you call um, a cell phone, a, a phone and other equipment they have. They have like what you call a stick though. Any of those stuff that they, um, they have on them, you are not to touch them. They are supposed to touch them. That is their job to use them um, any time, all, all time. Our goal with this, not just for the individuals with the disabilities, but for the officers, is to have them recognize, first of all, assess the situation, recognize, and then develop some mitigation sort of techniques, and to be able to reach in that toolbox and realize that I have a tool that might be able to help this situation. I learned that if you see a police car coming, you should stop, you don't, and I learned that following the laws, like don't, you, don't walk when the don't walk sign is on. Also learned when we watched the video though, when crossing the street though, when it says do not walk, do not walk because um, you can you can also hurt your you can you can also hurt your you can hurt yourself and you can hurt people around you can cause a, a, a train reaction though to them as well. So it, um, when it says do not walk, do not walk. That, can, that way that can keep you safe from harm, out of harm's way. That can keep other people safe out of harm's way. The reason we like to give out this information at a Be Safe interactive screening is because people learn best from one another and uh, by doing things together. So it's very hands-on, it's very interactive, and it's personal. And that's why we think it's really the best way. So the takeaway for, for the people um, who are participating in this, um, for those individuals who have a disability, it, it's simple. Public safety officers, police officers, corrections professionals, troopers, whoever, we're here to help you. Um, and that we are approachable. And that if you do need help, it's okay to come and ask for the help and we will help you. If you're, if you're a person with disability, you should let the um, officer know that way they, they'll know. Um, and, and explain the nature of your disability. That way they can help you, keep you safe and other people around you safe as well. One of the techniques and one of the points of this whole uh, program is the fact to just recognize that people are people and everybody's normal is a little different. Being able to identify what an individual's normal is and interact with them according to that, their abilities or their disability, it enhances the communication. And the bottom line is that's what it comes down to. If I can communicate with you and we can understand each other, things tend to go a lot smoother. I would love to have this be the antidote to distrust by creating relationships and mutual understanding, empathy, and shared perspectives. There is more information about the Be Safe program at BeSafeTheMovie.com and also on their Facebook page. And you can get more information about autism at pathfindersforautism.org.